Last week, I came out here and I did what I said I was going to do. I gave Joey the so-called king of the death match. Another loss when he faced Adam Cage. But this loss came at his own stupidity. Because this man was not right mentally to face Adam Cage. And he failed yet again at collecting a win against me. For Joey, king of the death match decided to expose the turnbuckle. Hoping that I would injure myself and collecting the win for himself. But it didn't work. Ultimately, it backfired. And now he sits at home with an injury after smashing his knee into the turnbuckle. He sits at home watching everybody else win. Collect that winning dollar. Doing what he loves to do. And that's wrestling. He sits at home with an injury that might take him out for good. That might actually end his career forever. He may never ever be the same man with an injury like that. An injury like that just never goes away. It will stick with you forever and every person that he comes to in the future, every opponent that he faces will expose that injury for the rest of his career. When Joey Taylor entered the ring, he played with fire and when it came to Adam Cage, he got burnt. And I showed the world that he is nothing more than a failure. A failure in the ring and a failure at life in general. And this week, live from Las Vegas, Nevada, Adam Cage goes up against a man who wants to quit at the end of season five, pack his bags and go home. The one and only, the ace, the wayward son, Nick White. Now, Nick White, I've already touched on all those things that I said. I've already touched on the fact that you want to leave and you're not renewing your contracts at the start of season six. You're packing your bags and you're out of here. I've already touched on the fact that your title reign, your Alpha World Heavyweight Championship reign, was nothing more than an absolute piece of shit and you throwing it in the garbage, not trying to claim it back, not trying to restore it to what you think you should have, what you may deserve. Because you want to just leave and pack it all in. Nick. This week in, in Las Vegas, you're going to come to the same fate, no matter how the outcome, no matter how we get there, you are going to come to the same fate as your fellow filth brother when you face Adam Cage inside that ring. Because you're not facing just any man. You're facing a man who has been here for almost three years at the top of my game. That's what you're facing. A man who had a title reign that overshadowed yours and most people here in IW. Nick White, you're nothing more than a fraud and a phony. Being told by people who come out here and pat you on the back time and time again saying that you are somebody when you are not. You're nothing more than a piece of garbage. And that goes for your filth brothers patting you on the back. That goes for your fellow mates in the brotherhood patting you on the back. Keeping you up at a level which you just don't deserve to be at. Giving your expectations such high regard that you are delusional upon yourself to think that you are somebody in the wrestling world. And now you've actually come to your senses and realise that you're nothing and you're packing your bags and fucking off out of here. Got to go back home and sit on the couch with your family and watch IW Network and watch all the things that we do, the great superstars here that deserve to be here. Is this the right choice you're making? Is it? Is it something that you've thought deep and long and hard about? That you can just go away and come back, go away and watch us all compete and do the thing that you busted your ass for for so many years? You see, you say you've got the band back together. Well, it seems to me like the band is falling apart. Because every single member last week failed in their quest to be successful. Every filth member failed. At the hands of their opponents. It seems like filth is crumbling, falling apart at the seams. And now that their leader, or their so-called leader, the ex-world heavyweight champion, is fucking off and leaving them behind. Joey's gone, he's got an injury that'll put him out of the game for quite some time. 
Can filth be left up to TJ Blair? And Doomsayer? I think it's a dying breed. It's going out, just like the dinosaurs. That's what filth is. Nothing more than a dinosaur. And that's what you are. Nothing more than a dinosaur. So you can go home. You can rot on your couch watching us all compete here on the IW Network after you collect another loss this week when you face Adam Cage inside that ring. Because your downward spiral starts with Adam Cage. You've only got a few weeks left in your whole entire career, so you say. So you want to tell the whole entire IW universe? If you're leaving at the end of season five, there's not much more to go. You haven't got very many matches left. And this one, you will not pick up a victory. This one, you will get a hard L when you face at a fucking cage. Because the Black and Blue crew are on the rise now. After Chad and Brian picked up the World Heavyweight Tag Team Championships, the Black and Blue crew are taking over Alpha. And you can sit at home and watch it all unfold. Because Adam Cage is not here to take part, Nick White. I'm here to take over.